Hey everybody, First 15 Live here. I'm here to tell you a story about a guy's life who was pretty jacked up. His life was very, very unfair, and, um, and I'm going to tell you about that and what he did that was so beautiful. In just a second, first let me tell you a little bit about us, First 15 Live. If you're new to First 15 Live, we do a devotion every day from the Bible, from the one-year Bible reading plan, because we believe that the most important thing in life is spending time with God every day. In fact, we say it this way, we want to make spending time with God every day go viral. So you can join us in that. Here's how you can join us. Share this video right now, whether you're watching live or later. Maybe you want to tag a friend who needs to hear this. Maybe they've gone through something. They need to hear this message today. A story about somebody who, uh, you know, who, who's, whose life was in the toilet but yet they did something beautiful and amazing. And so um, you need to share this. Go like our page. You can also hit the edit notifications button the, or the following button, edit notifications, and see every time we go live. We go Monday through Friday at 6.30, and then it's a little sporadic on the weekends. So we're glad to have you comment. We want to engage with you. We're a family here at First 15 Live, so welcome to the family. Uh, join us as often as you can. Comment. Share your prayer requests. Let's pray together. Um, and, and join our partners page. Uh, we're believing God for some fresh stuff there we're about to do, so I'm um, excited about that. Uh, let's get started. So in our Bible reading plan, we're in Genesis and we're reading the story. Uh, hey, for those who can't see, look, there's still ice. It, I call it snow, but it's really just ice. Um, well, some of it's snow, I guess, here on the ground. I'm up here at um, 21 Days of Prayer. If you want to join us, as soon as I'm done here, you go to 21days.churchofthehighlands.com and join us in prayer. Um, doing that every morning, Monday through Friday, 6 to 7. So we'd love for you to be a part of that. All right, let's dive into this. So we're in Genesis, and we're reading the story of Joseph. Now, Joseph is an interesting character because uh, he, he has upstanding morals. Okay, he's, he's not always the brightest individual, but, um, but he, he uh, as far as relationships go, but he's, he's got upstanding moral character, but yet his life keeps spiraling down. Have you ever felt like every time you get up, you get knocked right back down? That's Joseph's life. So he, he's, he's his dad's favorite son. Well, then his brothers throw him in a pit and sell him into slavery. Well, he becomes the lead servant. I mean, he's running Potiphar's household. Then Potiphar's wife accuses him of, of trying to rape her, which he did not. She tried to rape him, by the way. Uh, have you ever been accused of somebody who was doing the very thing they accused you of? So he gets thrown into prison. Then... He helps one of the prisoners. Um, he interprets a dream, sets them up for success. They promise to remember him. And what do they do? They forget. For years, they forget him in this prison. But the story turns out well because God remembers him. And that's the key. When the world forgets you, when life is unfair, God has not forgotten you. And that's what the thing that Joseph did that was so beautiful is he never lost his trust and faith in God. He knew even though his situations were bad, his God was good. Come on, somebody, that's a word for you today. Your situation may be bad, but your God is still good. He is faithful. You can stand strong on that because your God will help you through. That's the word because you're going to face some times in 2018. They're going to feel up and they're going to feel down. And you're going to feel like, man, I'm on the top of the... God's really doing something. And all of a sudden, it's going to crash back down. And you're going to be like, what is going on in my life? Just remember, just because your situation is bad doesn't mean your God is not still good. He's working through those bad times to take you up to a another level. There's ebbs and flows in life. And, and the deeper the valley, the higher the mountain God's going to take you back on. Come on, somebody. I hope this is encouraging to you today. Whatever you've been going through, however rough your life has been, your God is still good. And if you will trust him, if you'll keep your attitude positive, because you're not because you're um, you know faking it till you make it, but because you really trust that God is going to turn all things around for good in your life, which He promises to do in Romans, right? What what, what are we going to do with that? Romans, I think it's eight twenty eight. So we're going to walk like Joseph did. We're going to walk in character. We're going to walk in joy because though our situations may not always be good, our God always is, and He is on our side. Amen. Amen. Let me pray for you. Father, I pray for those today, God, who need victory in their life, Lord. Um, that was our word in prayer this morning, victory. I declare victory over them, that their situations may not be changing, but their attitude's going to change because they know their God is good and he is faithful, Lord. I pray that they can trust in that, they can walk in that. I declare joy over those who need joy, hope over those who need hope right now in the name of Jesus, healing over those who need healing, freedom from depression right now in the mighty name of Jesus, freedom from bondage, Lord, victory in the name of Jesus for those who've been bound to, to sin issues, God and anger issues and, and all those kind of issues, Lord. And we thank you that you're working and moving in our lives. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. 
Amen. 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 Come on, somebody. Your situations may not be good, but your God still is. And you can have faith in that and trust in that. Go be a world changer today. Look for some. You can actually take this exact word and encourage somebody with it. Tell somebody today, hey, I know your situation may uh, look bad, but your God still looks good. And he's going to come through for you. Amen. Amen. Love you guys. And we will see you tomorrow morning, hopefully at 830. Um, we'll see how it works out. So bye for now. Share this. Make a difference. Tag some people in it who need to hear it. And let's get this word going around today and make it viral. Love you guys. Bye for now.